Sometimes when you're just getting started with video, you may not want to be on camera and your best option will be combining PowerPoint slides with your voice. But where is the best place to record that voiceover? Hi, Taylor here with Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and then click on that bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been uploaded for one-to-one -one training or just to support our content. Please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. When you're starting video, it could be a little intimidating to get on camera, or perhaps you don't even have the best camera to record yourself on. So a great option is to record a voiceover and then match it with perhaps PowerPoint slides or graphics that you created on Photoshop or Canva.com. When you're choosing a place to record your voiceover, you want to look around and find the most dense, perhaps most carpeted room in your home, unless that is you have access to a sound booth, but most of us don't. And so when you're looking around at your office or at your home, think which rooms are the smallest. Typically, they're bathrooms, but bathrooms do not provide the best dense sound. There's too much uh, area for the noise to bounce. There's not any carpeting for it to absorb into. So, one of the best places to record your voiceover may actually be your closet. Think about it, bedrooms have carpeted floors and there's typically clothes all around you. That's gonna help you create a very nice and dense sound for your voiceover. If your closet perhaps is too small, still try to find a carpeted small room and you may even consider putting large blankets or carpeting on the windows and around the walls. I hope this helps you create a better video with higher quality voiceovers. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below.